Jules's hair is blown off the back of her head Seriously. from all that singing. I'm horny. So, oh wow, we're gonna show you Big Michael. Now you've got two choices. Uh, yeah. Should we let the listeners decide? I would love it. Let's hear what we now, got for do Big you guys Mike. Want um, angry Big Mike or sexy Big Mike? Ooh, can, we can't do both. We can do both. I, I mean, of let's course do we can one do both. sexy Big Mike and let's go into his anger. At the end. At the end there, we don't you think? We can probably cut down the sexiness a little bit. He's a sexy guy. Listen, he's experimented many times with many L.A. dolls. Uh, Big Mike was on what's called The Shit Show. What are you and doing he, right now, by the way? What's going on? You you're going... Yeah, everybody. Hey, Big Mike was on the shit show. Yeah, that's right, <laughs> folks. Big Mike was on the shit show. Welcome to Michael's DJ Madness here <laughs> down at... Uh, uh, where Mersh works. Okay, uh, Big Mike was on a show called The Shit Show. Do you know Julia Rose? Do you follow her? Do you think she's got a nice body? She's disgusting. She smells like fish, frankly. <laughs> she does. Do you know Julia Rose? Do you know Shag Mag? Now, unfortunately, we can't get into it too much here. Look at all this. But we're going to show you Big Mike was invited on what's called ShagMag.TV with Julia Rose and a couple of other whores. Julia Rose is an Instagram model who does this. She pushes in on her nip. Can we get her uh, Instagram page up? Of course. She does two moves. One where she stands behind and holds up her butt cheeks. That's a cringe move. And then she does another cringe move where she pushes in her nipples like buttons and smashes her boobs down as if it's sexy. Uh, you really need a guy on your staff because pushing in your nipples, like, uh, you know, like uh, buttons on a telephone is not sexy. That doesn't look cool. We'll show you her Instagram here. And Julie Rose is such a skank. She gets self-tanner all over her rotten rat nose, you know, and some of you might have been fooled. She's got smooth skin, a great anus, and uh, that's what I call, by the way, if a girl is a butt model, I go, ooh, that is a lovely anus. And they go, oh, I hate that. I go, oh, you don't like anus. You're an anus model. Imagine that. That really sucks all the fun out of it, doesn't it? When you go, oh, I love your anus pictures. They go, ah, uh, they're kind of sexy modeling. No, nope. all I see here is a big fat anus. For some reason, my message yeah, what's going I put on? it in the big note, though. The big note. I mean, the big mic. Instead note. of big mic, she calls it's it the, the big note. The second link in the note. The second link in the note. Sorry, your chat ain't It's taking forever. This is, hey, uh, can I get a, you know, Jamie would pull this up right away. It takes hey. Jules about 15 minutes. Here's Julia Rose. I could show you what I don't like. Is there anything you do like? Oh, not this. She puts I voting stickers on her spectacles. That to me is a dislike. Here's her little rat face. Look at that. You know, are you Mexican? No. And she's not Mexican. Here's what I say. This is how she does her butt poses. I don't know why we're going. She's always picking up her butt like this. You don't have to do this. It looks fine if you're not doing it's this. It's truly fine, Julia. You She's don't have so self-conscious. <laughs> She's always picking it up. This is not a move that guys like. Instagram models are so in the dark because the guys who follow them, no matter what they post, how stupid it looks, they'll all the guys love it. So it takes a guy like me to go, no, 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 this isn't, this isn't good. But no one else ever says anything. Let's see. Here she is. This is her pose. Picking up her own ass. And she wants respect. This is an artist. Picking up her own butt. Now, I get it. This is much better than anybody. Look at Picking up her own butt. Eventually, it gets Can silly. Can we see it unpicked? Can we see it second? unlifted? This isn't a move. There's something so funny about uh, attacking babes look at this lifting up her own butt again stop lifting it up it's silly i can't really this is her babes. here we go pushing in your nipples like buttons that's not 
also something we desire. As a girl, it's hard to attack babes because then you sound like that. What's that girl who uh, yeah, the Instagram that woman. Stories? Yeah, I forgot her name. Here, look, she's picking up her own butt in every... And you're going, Mike, that looks pretty good. I understand, but it's a picked up butt. I like that there's some guys like, too skinny for me, bro. I like a girl with some thickness to her. That's... Someone says, yeah. maybe she's just ska. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Here's another one picking up the butt. Are you guys getting horny as fuck here? There's always a girl, you show a girl like this and be like, too skinny for me, bro. I like a girl with some meat on her butt. And that's how you know what a guy is truly a monster. <laughs> Look at this, picking up her butt again. I don't like this move. I don't want my butts picked up. I don't want my boobs pushed in. Picking up her butt again. Cringe. I'm the only one who, who uh, exposes models for cringe activity. <laughs> you don't see that. Look at that. Picking up her butt again. All these pictures ruined. I always write to her. I go, these pictures would be great for me had you not picked them up. Stop touching the mic. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, so she's picking it up. And she's always pushing them in, picking them up, pushing them in. This is a sleazy, dirty spick to me. Look at this. I know you want to go right inside there, but she's picking it up. You know, you got to have some standards here. On all of the women's groups that oh, I'm in picking up Facebook. her butt again. This does look stupid in a row, right? Stop picking up your butt, <laughs> bro. In all of the women's groups I'm in on Facebook, they're all like, how do I get my husband to picking stop following bikini models on Instagram? I just caught my husband liking yeah. a picture of a bikini model. What do I do? And I'm like, wow, thank God my husband just calls them all dirty spicks. Well, Jules, trust me, I like these people more than you. But look, she's picking <laughs> up her butt again here, even in the water. Picking up your butt. What, do you think it's going to sink? This girl picks up and presses in. And we find that to be despicable. Now, what's worse than the picking up, pushing in? Her personality. And we're going to showcase that today. She does a talk show called The Shit show and hey it is shit actually we're gonna show you the shit show with big mike here we go the shit show yet another awesome episode of the shit show shit show <laughs> brought to you by shag mag shag mag is a so here she is and again this looks like if kalila was more shitty and foreign Okay, for all these people out there, you know, for white supremacists, you guys surely are open to Latinas. I always see white supremacists going, hey, to be fair, I'd fuck Kim Congdon. No, you're either a white supremacist or against women of this mocha. All right? Pick one. It would be nice if my white supremacist would go after the people I hate, you know, for once. So Let's here she is. Julia Rose of black fishing. That's a dark tan. What? Yeah, this is a dark tan. This is a white woman who is trying to be Enrique El Salvador. <laughs> and I think it's very funny to make fun of a babe. Look at this rat's nest, this fucking low class loser. Every babe has a sidekick. And every, babe's si every uh, babe's sidekick is even a bigger loser than them. And they're not actually even that hot. Like when this woman gets naked, the guy's like, eh, I don't know. I kind of was here for the main babe, for these. Look at all that. And they contour their boobs. So she puts makeup on these things. She doesn't even have to. But she darkens this so that it looks like a whole to do. And then here's Big Mike, fresh off his breakup with Lana Liar. Or is he? So let's get into this. It's the shit show with Becca, Julio. And hey, Big Mike. Clocking in. Welcome back to yet another awesome episode of the Shit, Shit Show. Show. Shit Show. <laughs> Brought to you by Shag Mag. Shag Mag is a digital magazine featuring the hottest woman in the industry. 100% uncensored. Listen to her voice. 100%. I don't know if you ever saw Playboy Night Calls, but Jewel said these make the night calls people look like award-winning talk show host like David Letterman. <laughs> And I agree. Look how dumb this woman is. And if you didn't think she was dumb enough, this is, uh, she just got done dating Jake Paul. Not kidding. 
look at this sleazy little liar. I want her out of my country. Let's see what they do. She's fine. This That's is about time. Mike. That's right. We're kind of taking a break a little bit. We had Halloween, the election coming up, but we are back. We are back in action with the wonderful Becca and the not so wonderful. Whoa. I'm, I don't even know how I got here. For, for, the we first thing I want to Why is he the not so wonderful? You seem to be like, and this fucking loser, the not so. Wait, what do you know, rat? This looks like Drew Michaels' penis head. You ever seen Drew Michael's penis? It's got its own face to it. It's like a tremor. You ever seen the movie Tremors? This is what the head of a tremor looks like. She could drill through wall. All right, with that little fucking rat face. So here's Big E, the man of the hour. We've never seen him on another set, have we? Let's hear. Say the first thing I want to say is this set is amazing. Two hundred and forty episodes of Impulsive, and I honestly do believe that you're set. It might be better than ours. No way. The set is better than theirs. Pretty cool set. All right. The set is amazing. Sorry about this. Sorry about this. The set is amazing. White walls, a plant, and a white desk. The set is amazing. Way. It might uh -oh. be. The lighting is great. That's your name? That's your full okay. name? What? That, that, that whole sentence you just... Oh, yeah. Hey, what's up? My name's Mike. <laughs> you may know me as uh, Logan Paul's best friend or Lana Rhodes. You may know me as Logan Paul's best friend. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. We're going to dive into that for sure, for sure. I'm so interested to hear. I'm so excited. Yes. Well, listen to these idiots. Song. Cheers. I'm not going to put it under the desk. I know a lot of people uh, are used to be putting it under the desk. I won't do it at your, at your house. But no. What's going on, guys? How are you? What's going on? So is that your intro, Logan Paul's best friend? I think we should give him a little bit of background. Okay, so listen to how bad these hosts are, and Mike is going to mansplain his way through this. When Mike is around dumb sluts, he's in You know Mike is like, people look up to him in this influencer world. He's the older, more wise, put together, older brother of the influencer world. He's going to tell people about relationships. He's going to tell people what's up, what's down. And they believe it because they're worse than him. Give me a time code. Give me a time code. You can go. You can keep playing here if you want to hear Mike talk about getting yeah. introduced. You want to hear this? Let's hear a little bit more. This is a very bad set. But I hate the intro. So, for people watching this who don't already know this, I have a You're gonna love it. Anxious condition. I've talked about this on my show a lot of times, and for some reason. The only thing that makes me anxious is when other people give me an intro. Wow. I can't like, give you an intro. I uh, disagree. That's not the only thing that makes you anxious. You have a lot of anxiety. <laughs> Everyone knows I have massive anxiety. And the one thing, the only thing that gives me the anxiety is intros. Oh, yeah. Well, can I see the doctor that uh, prescribed you Xanax for intro anxiety? Wait, you're not getting introduced on shows, are you? Yeah, in fact, I am. Oh, you have intro anxiety. We're going to give you some pills here. You're going through a mental disorder. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When you're sitting there and they're like, Mike Malak, known for the fifth It's like vital, when people sing about happy about birthday. I can't yes. do happy birthday. Yes. When people sing happy birthday. Oh, look at this guy. I can fuck with Big Mike. I like him. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> We're wa we like Big Mike. We think he's pretty cool, too. God. I out. sing along. <laughs> yeah. Your own happy birthday. Yeah, and then when they say two, I'm like, mm-hmm. That's me. Watch this. It's so bad. It's so bad. But um, yeah, I wrote a book. It's called The Fifth Vital. Wow. It's about my addiction. I'm on a podcast called Impulsive. It's fantastic. I have a show called The Night Shift. It's pretty good. Wow. Uh, and that now, starting tomorrow, uh, a Twitch, a Twitch channel that I'm okay. really excited for. My Did you know that Mike is a gamer? He plays Never Afraid. The newest Twitch game where you pretend you're a little ghost, you get slaughtered by your friends. Oh, do I love a choose your own adventure game like Fortnite or Undesired. What is it, the new one called that everyone's playing, Jules? Among Us. Among Us. It's not new. It's not new, they say. It's new. It's fucking gay. Twitch stream tomorrow with banks, with... Well, it's not tomorrow. Cough. Oh yeah, fuck. Thanks. I hate but banks. But they can go follow you on, on Twitch. Yeah. What are you? Are you gonna? Does my friend Keemstar know how much I hate banks? Phase banks. <laughs> Keemstar's best friend. Keemstar, you must choose me or Phase Banks. Who will it be? 
Imagine if Keemstra... I haven't spoken to Keemstra in quite some time. I think he forgot about me. All right, <laughs> let's see. Do we fast forward here? Um, You could go to... 10.30. 30. Mike just talked That's when about... Jay Leno used to come on <laughs> Central Time. 10.30. And what's Big Michael going to do? He's just going to talk to us about dating in L.A. Dating! Junior Stopka had this great bit when he went, Dating! Dating! A topic untouched by comedians everywhere. Dating! A man goes out with a girl. The unthinkable. <laughs> Something like that. It was very funny. He's a nobody now, though. So I have won over every comic that I've ever met. All right, let's see what's going on here. I want to remind everybody, we are entering our number eight of Red Bar. So if you're sitting around, have you ever performed this well after eight hours? I highly doubt it. All right, anything that happens after this is worth it. So we're going to go to this time code, 1033, right? Or 1030? 1030. 1030, it's late. Leno's coming on. The news has just ended. You're in the Midwest, so it's central time. You're in Florida, maybe. Let's see what happens here at 1030. I need, like, dipped my toes into the water. Now, here I am, fucking a year later, like sitting across from you kind of having the same conversation like holy fuck yeah this place is fucking crazy yeah it's insane it's insane and you, so yes it is as crazy as it seems which you no, know now and you know obviously it's it's a really difficult city to date in. LA. it's a really difficult city for la is not a state it's a state of mind this is what we caught mike if you're not uh, caught up on the last big mike roast he said, California's not a state. It's a state of mind. And everyone went, dude, that is so potent. That is so good. I've never heard anything like that before. I'm a boxer, maybe. <laughs> All right, so he's talking about, they're talking about love life in L.A. Mike is an expert now. Love life in L.A. You know, I've been in love in L.A. twice. It was fine. It was easy. It was manageable. It's a really difficult city to date in it's a really difficult city for people fresh in recovery to stay clean or sober yeah. in it's just a it's just what do you a, think the hardest part about dating is oh god there look there it is he's playing our can we fla <laughs> we're flashing to it by the way great episode i think it's got a couple million views on I it. Still they start playing one of his episodes up here and he goes by the way great episode i think it's got a couple of million views this is similar to when logan went Logan, when they first started Impulsive, this was what really got us into it. Somebody was like, man, I really love your studio. He's like, thanks. It was 90K. And we went, oh, no. <laughs> so I want to let you know, somebody went, hey, man, Logan, we really love the Impulsive studio. This is pretty good. Thanks. It was 90K. Thanks. It was 90K. Well, this is very similar to that. This is Mike going. Yeah, I think that episode's got like one million views. Pretty good. Playing our Can we fla <laughs> we're flashing to it? By the way, great episode. I think it's got a couple million views on I it. I still couple think mil. people bring it up. Yeah, no, it's great. Are and you my, wearing the same hat? Yeah, well, not the same hat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's definitely wearing the same hat. Same thing, hardest thing about dating oh in the city. Oh, my God. We keep yeah. playing? Um, yep. I think, it, I think it would depend on the person you ask, but my, my answer would probably be... Um, would probably be temptation. I think this city yeah. is loaded. What is the biggest problem in LA? It would probably be temptation. <laughs> temptation. Guys, we don't say temptation as guys. No. Um, I remember years ago on Red Bar when we used to take calls, there was this loser that called in. They were all losers. And one caller came in and they said, yeah, also like, um, yeah, there was just a couple moments where I like lost my inhibition. And we went, inhibitions? Like here at Red Bar, we don't allow guys to use these terms. Inhibitions. What was his term that he just said? Temptation. Temptation. Sorry, here at Red Bar, we don't fall to temptation. The only time we like Temptation is when we're doing the oldies karaoke and we're doing the Temptations. Okay. 
Look, we don't fall to temptation. Listen to this nonsense. The, um, would probably be temptation. temptation. I think the city yeah. is loaded yeah. to the brim with very good looking and very successful people. Oh. And Temptation um, Island. It's very easy to fall into this thought process that there's something greener on the other side of the fence. And we've all oh, been that. there before. And oh, we I have? don't think there's any I city haven't. maybe shy of Miami or um, New York in, in some instances that, that compare. Summertime shy? To Los Angeles in terms of how hard it is to stay in a monogamous relationship. And um, that, that you know, that was something that I was up against, you know, yeah. a lot of times. And, and it, it, it's just, it's really tricky, I think, for a lot of people to understand when I talk about Amara. Um, Amara. Now, this is interesting. We're going to learn about this. Remember in his breakup video, we kept calling her Amra? Amra. A-M-R-A. But her name is Lana Rhodes. And her second name that Mike introduced us to goes, her name's Lana Rhodes. I don't know if I should be saying this. Her real name is Omara. O-M-A-R-A. -A. Like, uh, I believe in one of those horror movies we watched, there was someone named Omara, right? What horror movie was it with Omara, Omara, Omara? There was a horror movie. Can't remember. Look it up, though. Someone look it up and let me know. And uh, in, in the breakup video, he kept calling her Amra, Amra. But then one time he reverted back to Omara. And I was so utterly confused. So were you. We were all confused. And we're going to learn what's going on today. And I'm going to tell you something. It's horrifying. Wait till you hear why her name is Omara and Amra. I'll break it down for you. It's, it's quite frankly startling. What time code? Well, wait, this one's not over. Oh, we're, we're not done. Listen You're, to this. The the level of... Oh, Samara is the ring. Oh, yeah. That's Her name wasn't it. Omara. It was Samara. Same diff. Very close. Samara. Yeah, that was a weird name. Was it Samara in the ring? That was a weird choice. I loved... By the way, the first movie, The Ring, I loved, and I fell in love with Naomi Watts. I loved her. I wanted to treat her like a cockroach. There's a guy who always comments on my Instagram pics and goes, you look like a young No, man. you don't. I'm Trust me, if I you did. You him right I know, but he's moment. wrong. He's wrong. Okay, <laughs> if you looked like her, I'd be rich. Um, I was going to say, maybe that's why you like me. Because I'm the ring. <laughs> no, stop it right now. Stop it. You're not the ring. She wasn't the ring. She was the uh, oh, yeah. protagonist. <laughs> antagonist. What do you call that? I'm an antagonist. <laughs> Let's hear some more. But that was Tamara. It was Tamara, right? I Tam think the ring was Samara. I don't know, but that was a weird name for the ring. But Samara is the name of the horror lady. Like the black hair... Sorry, I don't follow. Okay. We're going to show you uh, what my, Big Mike is saying. This is more about him than what I remember. And uh, I really hate this rat bass. This is if Drew Michael got implants in a tan. This is what he would look like. I just think everybody should be dating people with herpes. Okay? Let's do an ape spio special. Let's see what happens next. Loyalty and um, dedication that that girl uh, puts into a romantic relationship is what? unlike anything I've ever seen in my entire yeah. life. There was talking about Lana now, The loyalty and uh, consideration that that girl puts into a relationship. Don't you hate when somebody breaks up and they're like, she's amazing. She's incredible. So we're going to hear about this. It, that makes people's brains explode. They're like, yo, I've seen that girl do things on camera that are unspeakable. Yeah. You know Look what at I'm this. saying? But Naomi Watts is a nice choice for a white man. <laughs> she was. She's about 65 years old, covered in scar now. You know, you got to, this is a sexy bit, someone says. Yeah, you know, Naomi Watts was hot about 25 years ago. People forget. With girls like that, especially, she's like the perfect one to forget that there's something called father time and she's aged out. 
people are still like this. I go, hey, what's the hottest chick? And some Chinese liar will go, oh, I don't know. I think it's Angelina Jolie. And you go, what? This isn't 97, bro. And he's like reading the Rolling Stone magazine where she gets a tattoo or something. Come on. Um, I right. missed the part. So oh, go we did. back like 10 seconds. Wow, 10 seconds. Go back. Listen to this. Now, now it, that makes people's brains explode. They're like, yo, I've seen that girl do things on camera that are unspeakable. Wow. <laughs> and yeah, someone got it. Lana Rhodes has done things on camera that are, and I quote, unspeakable. <laughs> Can we get the DVD cover? Unspeakable, featuring Lana Rhodes. It's a Western. So listen to what Big Mike's saying. Now, I came out, I said, Lana Rhodes drank from the bull. People go, she drank the body of Christ and the water of wine. I said, no, she drank from the bull. The man's urinary bull. And Big Mike said, no, you're a troll. And now he comes clean. Again, I would like an apology. He says, Lana Rhodes is known for doing the unspeakable. <laughs> Listen to this. My entire yeah. life. There wasn't a now. Now. It, that makes people's brains explode. They're Listen. like, yo, I've seen that girl do things on camera that are unspeakable. Wow. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But. You have, and even this slut is like, wow, the unspeakable. What could it be? Well, I don't know. It's up there with the N-word because it's unspeakable. Imagine you've done stuff sexually that is the unspeakable. Yikes. What does that mean? 70 fella gangbang outside of the city prison, the skyscraper prison. You had a 70 fella gangbang, or maybe was it the bowl the refreshments bowl the lemonade you know um it was just the unspeakable let's just leave it at that you heard it here folks mike's girlfriend lana rhodes has done the unspeakable jules have you ever done the unspeakable no if i could I'll, if i I'll, had i couldn't yeah. tell you i've never done the unspeakable you know it's a western <laughs> movie like tombstone unspeakable and it's got five guys there in their western outfits there let's hear this seen that girl do things on camera that are unspeakable yeah. you know what i'm saying but what we learned very quickly when when we first started to hang out with her and logan first introduced her to me was that she was vastly vastly different in real life c compared that's to everyone her. like that's what that's people don't understand you see all these people on cameras and you mean she didn't drink bowls of piss for breakfast lunch and dinner unspeakable hey i've committed the unspeakable well then you should be in jail okay if you can't even say it <laughs> that sounds really really bad all right what's our next code here uh, you can go to 1520 where he explains the amra thing okay look at this so uh, remember he was calling her amra now i have my own theory on this i think i'm going to close the case on this and when you hear my theory you might be a little shocked. Listen to this. Relationship. The real, the real yeah. world, yeah. 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 What was your What was your type like dating before? Is it Amari? Amara. Amara. Yeah, Amara. Her, the name. What? Okay, I'm gonna give them a quick lesson on it. Okay. Lana Rhodes, obviously the one you know. Uh, Amara is how it's spelled. A M A R A. It's okay. Weird. So her name is Lana Rhodes in porn. And then Omara is how it sounds when it's spelled out. Pronounced Amra, like camera without the C. Amra. But it's pronounced Amra. So this is so funny. Her name is Lana Rhodes in porn. When you see her name written, it seems like it would be Omara, but it's pronounced Amra. Okay, then why did you call her Omara 3,000 million times? And then you started calling her Amra for the very first time during your breakup video. Here's what I suspect. Big Mike was calling her Omara wrongly for months. And finally, when they broke up, she goes, and by the way, it's Amra, you fucking idiot. And he, <laughs> then he changed it to Amra too little too late. Why would it matter? Why would you call someone what their name sounds like on paper? 
It makes no sense. I'll play you this again. Going out there and reminding each other why they're in a Look relationship. Look at this. The real, the real yeah. world, yeah. 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 What was your What was your type like dating before? Is it Amari? Amara. Wow. Amara. And by the Amara, way, her, the what is your name? Omari? <laughs> really? No, that's Tana's friend. Uh, yeah, that is <laughs> Tana's gay, half-black friend, Omari. <laughs> I can't believe you don't know this as a former slut. You dated Jake Paul and you don't know Big Mike's girlfriend's fake name. Listen to this again. Before, is it Amari? People believe me. Amara. Amara. Watch. Yeah, Amra, her, the name, okay. I'm going to give them And then a quick he said Omara again. Yeah, watch. Lana Rhodes, obviously the one you know. Uh, <laughs> Amara is how it's spelled, A-M-A-R-A. -A. It's pronounced Amra. Like camera without the C. Amra. Which yeah. one does she prefer? Okay, so why would you ever pronounce it Omara? Now watch this. She goes, well, what does she prefer? Listen to this. It's pronounced Amra like camera without watch. the C. Amra. Which yeah. one does she prefer? Uh, Amra. Amra? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let me clear my throat. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, so you've been calling her Omara wrongly you kind of just like so what does she prefer <clears throat> um amra yeah oh well you've been calling her omara for about eight months yeah that's my bad uh listen oh without the c amra which yeah. one does she prefer uh amra amra mm, yeah okay. without the c yep amra, amra. okay interesting i wonder why she's so livid and <laughs> you can't make heads or tails in none of this huh <laughs> So many syllables, so many, are they vowels? You don't know vowel. You think vowel is a type of coat. <laughs> and look at this idiot. I wish I had breast implant money, then I'd be the ruler of the eyelash. Oh, that looks re real, right? The Tim Pool skateboard off of that? <laughs> All right, let's hear some more. Uh, yeah, you my, can go to 17 what was your type? minutes. Can you imagine a guy doesn't even know? And look at this is, uh, yeah, I really fucked that up with the Omara Amra thing. This is like if I called Jules Julio <laughs> <laughs> for seven months. <laughs> well, it is actually pronounced Jules. I thought it was Jules. All right. Uh, what time? Uh, you could go to 17 minutes. Wow. 17 minutes. NC-17 is what I like to call that time code, huh? And let's see what they do now with these Mexican hangers. Let's hear. Her fake, <laughs> her fake tits with a she lace. She, like, burst into flames in minute long. <laughs> Literally. And so that was always that was always my type. And when I got here, shit, that type is, is Why do you think that is your type? Everywhere. Like, everywhere. What, yeah. do you, yeah. like, what do you... What, what do you think makes that your type? Is it just like, do you watch a lot of porn? I'm not. Do you watch a lot of porn? And by the way, he was saying his type is giant fake ass and fake tits. Yes, his type is big, fake, sloppy. Number two and number three, the butt and the boobs. And they said, do you watch porn a lot? And he's got to consider this. Look at this dildo over here. She's passed out. Look at this fucking hooker. You could get her for three bucks in Medellin. Uh, let's see what happens next. Not a huge porn consumer, contrary to what really? people think. I'm really not. I've, 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 I've been. Everyone's saying, "Ha ha, Julio." <laughs> Yo, Julio! Wait, you got to go back five seconds to okay. hear the whole thing. That's enough. Okay. Look at her face, by the way. If someone made this face to me, I'd go, "What's wrong, budhead?" <laughs> <laughs> no comprende, bebes. E he he he. E ja ja ja. No comprende, beaver. <laughs> I am a female Mexican anus head. I am a bad head from e Mexico. A Mexico anus head. In Beavis and Butthead in Mexico, it's called anus and can't believe it. Uh, all right, yeah, let's see what happens here. Consumer, contrary to what really? people think, I'm really not. I've, 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 I've been more of a porn star consumer than a porn consumer. What do you mean? Whoa! <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? You're more of a porn star consumer than a porn consumer. What? What do you mean here? <laughs> now I could pick a lock with my little nose.
But what do you mean here? This confuses Yulia Rose. <laughs> All right. I'm more of a porn star consumer than I would be a porn consumer. Okay, well, what does that mean? Let's listen to this. Like you, you fuck a lot of porn stars rather than watch a lot of porn. Anyways, why do I think, why do I think? And I, I, <laughs> what do you mean, anyways? Answer my question. Yikes. Wait, wait, wait. She doesn't know how to host. So she's like, and that's supposed to be like a given, like a joke that everyone understands, right? And she goes, what do you mean? Answer my question. Wait till you see her face. Hold on. Trying to bring you right back to that moment. Cut here. Come on. Jeez. Why is it taking so long here? Where's that little face she made? Let's see. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I've, I've had a fun time with that industry. Ari, Ari was around for a lot of that stuff. And so be, prior, prior to meeting, to, prior to meeting Amra, um, yeah. You know, it, things were wild for Did a Did you ever, time. like, is it kind of like Instagram models with, like, por- like maybe where you would watch porn and find, like, a girl, and you're like, damn, I really want to meet, or would you just, do you happen to just gravitate and honestly, attract porn stars? Honestly, we met Riley, and the rest was history. You know what I'm saying? I mean, Riley, oh, Riley, Riley was kind of the. She was the gateway. Yeah, she was the, <laughs> Riley she was the catalyst to all of it. We had her on the podcast. Come breath. Brace face. Imagine if you like porn stars that wear fake braces and they get cum covered in the brit. You're a child predator. You're no different than Epstein. You know, I got all these guys. Oh, Epstein, Epstein. You're watching girls with braces. You're watching Belle Delphine. You're a predator at heart. All right. Was that it for that part there? Yeah, pretty much. You could go to 1940. Wow, 1940. I mean, this whole entire podcast is insane if you it, love it really is. like sex bragging. So 1940, <laughs> that's when my grandma got her first ass fuck. <laughs> and, ooh, look at this little fucking weasel here. You ever see a screeching weasel before? Ah! ah that is a desert-dwelling insect. All right, let's see what happens here. Do I need to know anything? Um, no. You'll get it. Ah! Looks like a sandworm. <laughs> In their head, yes. <laughs> Listen to Like, this. there's this one no face, gir- no face girl. What's your favorite? Okay, if you can't say your favorite porn star, porn category right now would be no face. What's, like, your ultimate Wait, favorite this porn is, category? Did we miss that? I know, that's what I mean. This we gotta whole hear thing that. is good. I yeah, have. but we gotta hear that. My, they go, what's your favorite porn category? Or and porn star. What's your favorite porn star? And Mike is back with Lana Rhodes. Spoiler alert, they're back together. And wait till you hear Mike's little cope, because Mike does watch pornography and watch what type of porn he loves. What there's is a lot of no girls, face? I, there's been a lot of girls out there who have been scared to put their their face on yeah. uh, Pornhub, and, and you know we should talk more about that after, but... Um, Usually they're like the bodies are crazy, like they're always super yeah. toned. I'm like looking at the dudes for like some confirmation. Here. They're all shaking their head, yes. Like there's this one no face, gir- no face. What's girl. your favorite? Okay, if you can't say your favorite porn star, porn category right now would be no face. No face is his favorite porn category. That's where you just see a woman, but her head's cut off by the camera. That's what he claims he likes the most. Is anyone buying that? Or is his girlfriend, Amra, maybe a psycho? She goes, I only watch no-face porn. Anana porn. Yeah, that's right. What do they call that? Hurry, hurry, the 5th of November. I only watch Guy Fox porn. <laughs> this is what he's trying to get away with here. He watches no-face porn. And listen to this. She goes, so you would say your favorite category is no-face? Come on. You can't say your favorite porn Star porn category right now would be no face. What's like your ultimate favorite porn category? Hen- hentai. hentai. Okay, this is weird. Big Mike is now claiming that his favorite porn category, besides no face, is hentai. I want to make this perfectly clear before we get into this. Hentai is not allowed <laughs> ever. If you're sitting at home and you have fallen into the I watch hentai. Do you know what hentai is? Japanese animation porn. 
megalomaniacs with seven dicks, road oysters with seven squirters. Guys, this is not allowed. It's not acceptable. I don't care if you think your bubble is okay with it. I don't think if you have a nerd friend who told you. If you are watching hentai under any circumstance, even if you just scrolled upon it and checked it out, you're mentally ill. You need to be killed. You need to be put to sleep. He loves hentai. I'm going to back this up because I think we missed a little bit. He watches hentai. There is no watching hentai here at Red Bar are incredible people. Like oh, I, yeah, I've, 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 I've spent a lot of time with Riley, Alina, Gina Valentina. Um, all of those girls are are really, really good people. Like you oh, meet yeah. them and you're just like, yo, they, they're a little bit more open. They play, maybe they play the guitar. They like hang out. They vibe. Like everybody vibes them. Like they're just really cool people. Yeah, I, I will admit, yeah, I do. I only watch family guy porn. <laughs> I can only get off if Lois is fucking Chris. But that doesn't mean hentai is allowed. If you watch hentai, I'm going to beat the living fuck out of you. Do you understand? I'm not kidding about hentai. It's not like, haha, my case, hentai hates cheese fries too. No. Hentai is real. You know how I always go, oh, I hate tuna or I hate fish fillets. Ha ha ha. No. There is no jacking off to hentai. If you do this... You're literally psychologically messed up for real. There is no joke here. And you're going to hear Mike watch his hentai. Listen to this. And so for a while, we hung out with them. And then obviously in the beginning of 2020, Logan called upon Riley for this favor, which was, to, Riley. which was for her to introduce me to what he said was my favorite porn star. In reality, was, it, was it your favorite porn star? No, not, not really. I mean, I, I Who was I, your favorite porn star. I've been a fan lately of Wait, the no fake. Jules, can we get a professional Stewie impression from you? What do you think? Not today. You don't want to do a Stewie? There is something. The funniest thing to me is someone doing a Stewie. And it is something where if you asked me, Mike, would you do a Stewie? I go, I'm going to need a million dollars. I'm going to need a million USD to do Stewie. It's Try like doing. It now. If somebody asked me, Mike, what is your worst fear? Having to do a Trump impression, an Arnold Schwarzenegger impression, or a Stewie, I would say, well, those are tied. But Stewie would be the worst. I don't have the guts to even attempt to do Stewie. <laughs> it is that cringe. It's up there with a Donald Trump impression, which Mersh, Mersh does all the time. And by the way, before we end, can I get clips of Mersh doing a Trump impression to show you how painful this is? Please. I know you guys watch Mersh. I want, and she's not going to do it. There's no, I won't even allow it. But can you guys get me uh, Mersh doing Trump? It is worse than Jules doing Stuart. <laughs> His maiden name. But listen to this, the hentai stuff. Ace, uh, um style on, what on the do like, there's is a lot of no girls face I, there's been a lot of girls out there who have been scared to put their their face on yeah. uh Pornhub and and you know we should talk more about that after but um th usually they're like the bodies are crazy like they're always super yeah. toned I'm like looking at the dudes for like some confirmation <laughs> they're all shaking their head yes <laughs> like and aren't these girls like are we super toned are we what you would want you know yeah. Uh, let's hear what he says next about hentai. Here. There's this one no fear. Yeah. She's not going to do the Stewie. I mean, that's crazy. I don't even think you have a do you have a Stewie. No, I don't know why. She does Where a great Stewie too. Start? By the, I, how about this? She has a great Stewie. She's afraid to do it. <laughs> but can we get Mersh doing Trump? It's like hello, everybody. Welcome to my inauguration. You got to hear it. It's unbelievable. No, no face. face What's girl. your favorite? Okay, if you can't say your favorite porn What's... star, porn category right now would be no face. What's like your ultimate favorite porn category? Hen hentai. Hentai? <laughs> Shut up. Uh, what is what is like what? anime porn? <laughs> yeah, like anime porn. He's not <laughs> like where there's like where like because show me, okay. show me a good one. I want to see one right now. Okay, I, I'll pull. I'll pull. Is it because everything is just like so intense? 
Like everything's more intensified. Like it'll be like veins it, just like popping out and like everything. Let me see. Show me one. I got throbbing. You're, you're nailing it. Perfectly. All over. <laughs> let me hold on. Let me, let me Listen to this. This is real. Yes. That's why. Um, you guys, I feel like there's other people who could relate to this, and I, I don't. Some it's Listen. slightly unrelatable, but sometimes in life, like you get to a point where you, you've been through every fantasy sexual scenario you could ever fucking imagine. Listen. You've yeah. done the group shit. You've done the public shit. You've done the on. Wait, Mike's done the group shit. He's done the public shit. He's done the on. Can listen to what Mike's done, and now Mike has gone so far that hentai is the only thing that can get him off. Anime Japanese Sven Stuffel style cartoons with nudity straight out of China. What you could ever fucking imagine. Yeah. You've done the group shit. Listen. You've done the public shit. You've done the on-camera shit. Like, everything has already happened. Yeah. And so... It's like desensitized. Yeah, you become you so more. desensitized to, to the idea of, like, even having sex with a porn star. Like, you're just like, okay, like... This is the 15th time. Like, I don't care about this anymore. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so you start to look for um, Shit that alternate you thrills. Do. Exactly. Yeah. Alternate like thrills. In alternate thrills. I've done it all, so I need to look for alternate thrills. Alternate thrills? Is that a new brand I'm coming out with? A streetwear <laughs> brand that I might come out with? Alternate thrills. The new streetwear brand from Red Bar. For... Um, Shit that alternate you can't thrills, do. exactly. Yeah. Alternate like thrills. Become an anime character. Yeah, like I can't have ten dicks. You know what I'm saying? Wait, but someone what? on an hentai can have ten dicks. Please show me one right now. Right, I gotta right. see this. Okay. What so Mike's gonna you show her henty. I think yeah, I like gifts. I you just, like watching it's, it's just, gifs? They have like she sex gifs or like short videos where it's like the best part, like playing over and Doesn't over that get old? <laughs> just this. Yeah, I know. I know. Are we gonna zoom in on that? I know all about that. I mean, that's what you see on Twitter a lot. You know what I'm saying? Like, you see that stuff on Twitter a lot. The, the, the sex gift. So he's pulling up hentai porn. I wouldn't even know where to start. I mean, maybe type in hentai, but that's about it. I wouldn't know where to go. And again, this is unacceptable, guys. There is no, oh, yeah, I watch hentai. Oh, yeah, I have a foot fetish. Oh, yeah, I do this, I do that. No. People are being much too lenient with you. They're, they're, they're afraid to tell you, you're a freak. You're a... Miss, you were never meant to be born if you're watching hentai. And I'm not kidding. But Mike, I kind of watch it. I bet I would say 65% of the people listening right now watch hentai. That's what I think. I hope that isn't true. I would say 90% of people that watch Revenge of the Sis watch hentai. Mersh included. They think this is hot. This is sexy. This is live. This is lit. All right. What time do we go to next? Um, you could go to 2430. Wow. Mike retells the story about Lana being addicted to masturbation. Orgasms. Again, now, word for word. <laughs> guys, you were here for the last red bar. Was it on the last red bar? I, or maybe two times ago. Do you remember when Mike said this? And I, this has been stuck in my head. Please hold this here. This thing's going haywire. You know, I fucking hate it. Hold it there. Uh, Big Mike has been doing this bit, and this is so weird. He's been shopping around almost a stand-up bit about Lana Rhodes, and we showed you this. On the last Impulsive, he started talking about how she masturbates 15 times a day. And we're going, Mike, you and Lana just broke up. Maybe she doesn't want you telling everyone that she masturbates 15 times a day. And then he did the unspeakable, all right? He said, yeah, she'll be masturbating on the couch, and she just goes into, and do you remember the word? Let's see if people could guess. Let's see what people could guess. What happens to Lana when she's sitting on the couch with her big vibe? I want to see if people could guess it, and we'll give you, there's a 45-second delay. I'm going to give you a hint. It starts with an R. Let's see if anyone can guess, because I've been walking around the house all week saying this word. It's my new favorite word, and I want to see if anyone in the chat can get it. If you know what word we're thinking about, please type it in the chat, and we'll wait. And it will take 45 seconds because there's a delay, but let's see if anyone can get it. Because it is worth it to see if someone's on the same page as us. Yep, we got it. 
Here it is. <laughs> it came in right away from Mike Amara, 246. <laughs> and he says it, Rigamortis. <laughs> Rigamortis. There it is. And more people said it, Trance Rigamortis. Look at that, Rigamortis. Guys, remember when Mike said when Lana masturbates, she goes into, she goes into Rigamortis. <laughs> We're watching this show, and remember on the last Impulsive, we covered that we couldn't believe he said that. We're watching the show, we go, he is not. He, he isn't. isn't. He is. And then, guys, watch this. Round two, Riga, what? <laughs> what is, like, you're like, yo, you're second guessing your life. You're, you're like, gonna love did this. I, where did I go wrong? They got it. Dad, why it's did great. you Why did you leave me at 15? Riga like, went back, Riga went back. I love it. Up. And that's what happens with men. Now, women, on the other hand, yeah. it's this beautiful process that involves technology. Somebody even says, You guys Rick, have toys. You got little buzzers. Somebody said Rick and Mortis. I even said that to Jules. I said, we should make a Rick and Mortis shirt, but in the Rick and Morty logo. Yes, you did say that. Rick and Mortis. In the Rick and Morty logo. Guys, there's something. You don't tell the public that your girlfriend went into Rick and Mortis. I love this word. This is what George Floyd went into right before you. Nah, nigga, I went into nigga mortis. What is nigga mortis? That's when I can't breathe. I can't breathe. It's breathe, by the way. I can't breathe. Stupid black people. <laughs> All right, I'm kidding. Stupid whites. There you go. We're even. Listen to this. There's all kinds of little things. I can't breathe. Of well, course, it's... most importantly, the Hitachi magic wand. What's that? It's, You're gonna I, love it. It's all every girl knew this, but it's I thought it was every girl's favorite vibrator. What is it? Oh my god, we're getting them now. What is it called? The I Hitachi don't know. magic wand. What it's is a it? big white ball tip. Oh, I want it looks like yeah. a massager. Yeah, I, yeah, yes, I thought, exactly. I thought Dude, okay, I didn't chickens. know that was actually a vibrator. I thought it was literally a back massager that Me too. Yeah, they're thing. big. So uh Lana Rhodes. You know, most people they use like a little vibrator. You could wear it as a necklace. It's just a little fucking thing. Lana Rhodes needs a giant wand with a head on it so big it looks like this is something The Rock would use as a back massage. <laughs> because her cunt needs to be stimulated in such a fashion, such a manner, that it takes something so big and heavy from the sports industry to rub her out. She should Let's get those new massagers they're always advertising where it's like the little ball that does like the punching motion. Have you seen those slow motion videos of it going into yeah. your guy's back? Boo, 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 boo. Yeah, she, she should get that. that. For... So listen to this. They're like, why is it so big? Well, we're talking about the queen, of course. So let's hear this. She needs the whopper size vibrator to get off. But... We're going to hear that fancy word again, that $100 word. My favorite R word, rigor mortis. Listen to this. We're going to drink they, they, they when we hear rigor mortis, just, by the way. A clip. big one. Why does it have to be so big? Everybody pour one really up because it's coming. No, no, like but, but, but my, my rigor mortis. Uh, but Amra <laughs> Listen, swears Amra. by this thing. And she'll, you know, yep, that's it. Here You're we go, folks. Right uh, we drink when we hear it. I want to see. She'll, she'll. Wait, it's not that big. Do you have a promo code? Oh, no, sorry. That's the mini. That's the mini. There's a much there's a much larger one. I order that one and come. <laughs> Shut up, whores. You've already oh, fucked cut. in the morning, fucked after lunch. Here we go. You have plan on having sex twice before you go to bed that night. Like I'm we've we've always oh. been a multiple time per day relationship. No way. She still masturbates 15 times. With Why is he shopping this bit around? I he goes from podcast to podcast. My girlfriend is so sick. She <laughs> masturbates 16 times. I love her. She, all she does is whack them all. And you're going, why are you shopping this around? Like, did Logan Paul tell you, dude, you should do that for stand up. Practice it on some podcast. Get it funny enough. Then take it to the stage, the boxing stage. I could call up nine volts. The new company I'm working with, and they can bring it to the Tyson fight. I mean, really, what's going on? I think that's <laughs> There's what's going on. There's a chance that that really did happen, yes. because when he told this story on Impulsive, everyone was dying. So everyone was dying, like, and I think he goes, maybe I should chop that around as my inaugural stand-up bet. Listen to this. 
No way. Nigger or mortis. She still masturbates 15 times. I would just say this no, about your wife. All right, ready? Ready, ready for this? Not, not every single day, but ready for this? Here we go. I'll be playing Warzone. I get the same explanation. I'll be playing Warzone. Okay, a game I can't play. I can't even get past the intro. It's too complicated. Paul Save the World's Number One Podcast. No, this is the World's Number One Podcast. Don't listen to him. Shut I'll up, be playing Warzone. I'll be dropping into Verdansk with my listen. boys. And I'll get just ready. hear... And I don't even look back anymore because I know exactly what's going on. I know exactly what's going on. And and so we're listening to this last night. We're going, oh my god, there is no way. And Jules, he's gonna say it. He's gonna say it. Is he gonna say it? Is he gonna say it? Is he gonna say? And we're going, please say. And we're We're watching on our bellies at the end of the bed with our hands like this. this. Please, please, please. (laughs) And we're going, is he going to do the rigor mortis? If he says rigor mortis, I'm going to fucking die. And, you know, spoiler alert, he's going to fucking say it. But we're sitting at home going, there's no way he's going to do rigor mortis. He's not going to say rigor mortis again. There's no way. That was a one-off. Look at her smiling over here. Would you take this one? I wouldn't take her. She fucked in somebody's yeah, she front seems lawn. nice. I'll fuck around someone's front lawn then. How about that? I'm fine with it. Open her up. Show everyone what's good. All right, listen to this. But what I sometimes I'll peek back, and what will happen is we couldn't I, believe she, it. She goes into this like trance. She's in this like trance, you know. And all of a sudden, her uh, her uh, legs start to lift off the couch a little bit like this, like she has rigor mortis. Rigor mortis! <laughs> Cheers, everybody, to a wonderful life. Here we go. Mm. Rigor mortis. He said it, folks. People are her, saying this is uh, her his legs start to lift story. off the couch a little bit like this, like she has rigor mortis. Like, like she has rig. So he's shopping this around. Rigor mortis. Rigor fucking what? <laughs> She's got. And I bet he said this on Logan's show. Do not dance. Stand up. <laughs> you could. No joke, bro. <laughs> and then even George Jenkins like, it is. It's stand up. It's stand up. So there it is. He's shopping around this bit about his girlfriend. This is like if I shopped down a bit about how Jules is a fucking whore. <laughs> Naomi Watts over here. <laughs> Naomi Knots. <laughs> you know, you go down there, it's like a garlic knot. Stop. Covered in Parmesan. All right, let's hear what's going on over I here. I bet you her, uh, will hear Big Mike say this story again. Yeah, can, can we get... It. Okay, so now that we think he's shopping around a Good bit... things come in threes. If we get him saying rigor mortis a third time, well, Someone come on. wins $100. Rigor mortis. Can we get a rigor mortis song? Rigor mortis. Rick and Morty. Rigor mortis. My father's good, but my mother's better. Rigor mortis, rigor mortis, and some cheddar. Yeah. Let's hear that again. This like trance. She's in this like trance, you know. And all of a sudden, her uh, her legs start to lift off the couch a little bit like this, like she has rigor mortis. mortis. Like they get completely <laughs> stiff as she's getting close, and the and the blankets like lifting off the, the couch. And then I'll just hear. <sighs> Why is it funny for everyone to laugh at your girlfriend's cum? story like ser- that's like really <laughs> disres- what if i was going around going and jules you're gonna love this one she's about to go oh, 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 oh. it's like that's revenge porn that's revenge porn that's sick that would be like if someone talk talked about mike and they're like oh yeah he's climbing the fucking boner pole all the way up to heaven with his fucking rod sitting there in bed shaking it around like a fucking doomstick all right what do you got next for me here um, you can go to Rigor mortis. 3645. 3645. Wow. My dad is 36 years old, by the way. It's his birthday today. Give My it up. My dad's 45, and it's his birthday today My dad's also. only 36. One year younger than me. All right. <laughs> what is uh, 36 what? Um, Julie is going to ask Mike if he was nervous the first time he had sex with Lana. Ew, and look at this fucking... Seriously, I had one of these whittle at the wood on my house. This is a fucking termite. All right, this is a hummingbird. If hummingbirds were annoying and from Mexico, build the wall, I say. All right? So much everything on her is makeup. She fucking reeks of makeup.
right? Look at these fucking shoddy extensions that Michaela Peterson would kill to own. <laughs> the greasiness of the skank. Look at that. That is some greasy ass fucking hair. These are some greasy ass eyebrows. This is some fucking wicked weasel nose. Look at that fucking nose. You look like Michael J. Jackson. Okay? Thriller. Let's hear some more. Sorry. It's so stupid. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, the- you know what's so funny? Girls never get picked up. Like a babe like this is never. I am literally every Instagram post, I post that barf emoji. <laughs> <laughs> Say it. Emoji. <laughs> What? Every that, Instagram post I post that the barf, barf emo- emoji. I'll t- I can explain. I can explain. I can, I can explain. I can explain. Dude, the barf emoji. I can explain. Will you let me? Yes. Yes. George Janko. I think. I knew it. Yes. I knew it. I actually am influenced by George. Jan- I'm not joking around. George Janko owns me. I am everything that George Janko is. I mean, I want to be everything. That yeah, he that is. he is. I once saw, but the barf emoji. Yeah, that's something he would say. Exactly. Fuck, he's getting to me. <laughs> okay, they're all laughing at me. All right, what do we have next year? Oh, no, all right, play from here. Yet. Listen to this guy. The same guys that talk the shit. Yeah. No, but not if you ever saw him in person, the thing. first one's what? like, please let me get just a picture with you for my friends. Yeah. Fucking um, sucks. Was it intimidating when y'all first met having sex with her? Look at this. But I guess um, you had had sex with porn stars, so like maybe not. But I feel like to me, if I was having sex with a porn star, I feel like it'd be very like. Now, what's this Kanye song? I'm in yeah, love. Okay. With, I'm in what? love with a porn star. What song is that? What's that from? Um, Hell of a Life, I think. One from. But from what album? 